Hi, my name is Chris, and welcome to my fitness journey. Growing up, three things were the most important. Family, food, and soccer. I decided to pursue soccer in high school, and then I was blessed to receive a scholarship to play soccer in college. My first year of college was a blast. I met a lot of new people. I was able to do what I loved, which was play soccer. And I also experienced a lot of new culture, a lot of new fun, things I was never exposed to when I was younger. I wish I could say that everything stayed fine and dandy and fun, but that's not life. That's not realistic. I started to eat out more, I started to party more, and I started to lose focus on what, on what was important, which was my faith, my school, and my sport. These changes started to show. My body started to change. I gained a lot of weight. I started to wear baggier clothes, and I kept thinking I wanted to hide my body and hide who I was because I was just ashamed. But hey, I decided to get my stuff together and move back home and start at a new school. I was accepted and played on a new soccer team, and I joined a gym. Life got so much better, and it's all because I decided to move back home and listen to my parents. I started to transform physically and mentally. You see, I actually became a trainer. On top of that, I became a Zumba instructor. My life changed even more when I stepped outside of my comfort zone. You see, there was a lot of people who were part of my story, but there was one person in particular who stuck out more than the rest. I wouldn't change it for the world. Chad has been a part of my story and a part of my change. I couldn't be more thankful. So how did I change physically and mentally in that time period? I started to limit how often I ate out and I started to be more aware of what I was putting in my body. Simple and basic changes. Also, I drank a lot more water than what I was used to. I also dedicated myself to five days a week at the gym. I lifted for two days and I did cardio for the other three. Failures were still in my future. I decided to pursue my own studio, but it just didn't work. So, unfortunately, I had to close it down. Now, although that could have broken my spirits, I didn't let it. I had an awesome support system and a group of people who encouraged me to reach for the stars and chase my dreams. So that's exactly what I did. KFIT came along and it changed my life once again. In the fitness world, there are so many routes you can take. You can teach Zumba, you can teach CrossFit, you can teach Pilates, you can be a personal trainer. And I didn't know where I wanted to go in the beginning. A lot of things just happened by chance. But I had to put the hard work in and I decided to pursue what I was passionate about. And I didn't limit myself to just any one format. I decided to pursue what set my heart on fire. But this didn't come easy. I had to sacrifice a lot of things like family time, like money, like time with my friends, classes that I love to teach. Sacrifices have to be made in your journey for you to reach your goal of journey success. Journey to success will never end. I wanna reach for the stars and I'm gonna set the bar so high that I'm never ever satisfied and you shouldn't be either because I've decided to chase my dreams yes things get harder challenges get in your way obstacles are there but guess what you're building yourself for these things you get to jump over it and keep moving and those obstacles will never ever stop they'll never cease they're gonna chase after you but be ready and pursue it now that I've been able to reach for the stars, a lot of doors have been open for me. 
I've been able to travel the US. I've been able to meet a lot of awesome fitness friends. I've also been able to become a fitness presenter. And I've been able to live my dream out on the stage, coaching people to become a better, to become a confident, to become a well-rounded, healthy person. Being a part of these fitness transformations just blows my mind. It's so crazy to me that I've been able to be a part of these journeys. And people say, Chris, you've changed my life. You've saved my life. Look at my before pictures, here are my after. I couldn't do this without you. Chris, I didn't know where I was before you. These things are so powerful and that's what keeps my fire burning. To know that I'm helping someone become more confident, mind, body, soul. You see, whenever people start with me, they think that I'm gonna ask them to modify their behavior, that they're just gonna change one or two things. But what I ask of you is to transform your heart. Behavior modifications can be made every day, but they're not lasting, they're temporary. When you transform your heart, your mind will change, therefore your body will change. It's a cycle of success. So before you start or do anything, transform your heart. Don't modify your behavior. At least don't solely rely on modifying your behavior. It has to come from your heart. Now, here Chris Claiborne, today, 24 years old, is surrounded by a group of women and men who show up to class every day or show up to my online challenges every day and decide that they want to live a long, quality, confident lifestyle. And that's who I get to surround myself with every single day. When I think back to the beginning of my college year where I gained a lot of weight, awesome. where I lost my confidence, I think of who everyone needs from me is who I needed when I was younger. So that's what I encourage you to do. Be someone who you needed when you were younger. I know I needed a lot of leadership, but I didn't have anyone. So go out there and lead by example. Do the things that set your heart on fire and live your life trying to serve. When you serve, good things will happen, not just for you, but for others. Thank you so much for watching my transformation story. I hope there's more to come soon.